Hey there, this is Chad Garber. And in this video, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing what I call my behind the scenes videos. So if you don't like this video and you'd rather me play guitar or do guitar lessons or whatever, then there'll be plenty of those after this. But today I'm doing a behind the scenes video about video, basically. I'm trying to get a drone to take a video of me while I'm playing guitar. So that way it's not just stationary and it's kind of cool and it's hovering and it'll have a different kind of angle and effect. And ideally, if it would follow me around, that would be even cooler. So what I've done so far is I've bought the AEE Sparrow 360 drone. The video is pretty good, it's 1080, and um, I think you can take pictures in 4K or something like that. But the question is, can I make it watch me while I play guitar? Is it stable enough to do that? And so here we go, let's check it out. So what is clear is that this drone is not going to meet my needs, you know, and it's for $50, the camera's pretty good, but overall, here's what I don't like about it, I figured it out, okay? It's a 360 drone, right? And so therefore, it spins, and then as it spins, you have to steer it where the, where the camera is in the front. So if it spins and the camera's in the back, all of a sudden your controls are reversed. Or if you spin it to the right, your controls are reversed. The problem is you can't tell halfway through. I mean, the thing spins around and it's hard to figure out where the camera is and it's hard to, at the same time, to figure out what adjustments have been made to your controls. Therefore, it's very, 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 very difficult to fly. And it doesn't just hang out. It doesn't just hang out here. Like, it doesn't just hover. It just all over the place, crashes into the wall, freaks out. For $50, you know, it's pretty cool. But I think overall, I'm gonna need another drone.